Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to more Brotato Abyssal Terrors DLC. We are going to be going in with the next character, of course, on the new DLC map. This is all over on the beta branch. Testing out a little bit early here. So the creature, weapon damage additionally scales with 50% curse. I think I'm going to like this guy. You start with a cursed fish hook. So it's not even just a fish hook. It's a cursed one. That's nice. One curse when you level up. I love everything I see. 10 range down and 10 experience gain down at the end of the wave. So I don't like those things, obviously. Um, the range down particularly, I feel like it's going to add up to being a real problem for a melee run. Like that's going to be really, really rough. You're going to be constantly having to buy range with or uh, with a ranged weapon. I, I don't know. You could get away with it for a while. Experience gain down. That sucks. We're just going to want to get experience gain when we see it. My mind immediately goes to like, how do we abuse a flat 50% curse upgrade? My mind goes, just give me something that attacks really fast. Like the dream would be flamethrower because it attacks so fast. It's not really supposed to be doing damage with the actual hit. Uh, SMG, I think, is going to be the early game logical choice. It's not here, though. So I'm going to go with the Shredder, but we're going to try and pivot using the gun tag on the Shredder to find the SMG as soon as possible. Obviously, if a minigun shows up, we're, we're taking that instead, like, whenever that happens. But for now, we do this. Maybe we get some, uh, you know, maybe we get some harvest thing or whatever. Whoa. Nice. Ugh. You know, grab the range. Just not because I care right now, but because I will care later. Uh, pistol. I mean, we could pivot to the... We could sell and pivot to the, the shotgun. Just because it's... It's better, probably, in my opinion. Um, but... I think we just keep going. Yeah, glad we kept going. Okay. All right, SMG it is. There we go. We got two of them. Lock the bag. All right, so that's already really, 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 really good. We get the 50% uh, scaling. So it's like 50% range scaling and 50% curse scaling. I probably... I don't know, depending on how much curse we get. You know, like we get one per level up, but we'll stop leveling up relatively soon if we don't find experience gain. However, if we can start to get some things... Oh, nice. Yeah, it's 21% chance to get cursed. All right. Um... If we can find some stuff in the shop that we can uh, lock and get cursed and everything, that's going to start to be really, really good. Just hoping that would go. Uh, yeah. No dice. All right. Would have liked to find the SMG to lock and try and curse. Uh, that's the thing is what we're going to do today is utilize the, the fish hook, which I think this is my favorite item in the game now. I'm going to be quite honest. Okay, no, the Retromations hoodie is probably still Retromations' favorite item. However, I might like the I might like the fish hook more, honestly. Uh, if I could design an item effect, that's pretty Retromation. It's hyper rolling. It's silly. I love it. Uh, give me some attack speed. Armor sounds good. Dude, they both got cursed. That's amazing. Um, I'm going to buy it and hope that we just get another one in the shop to, to lock. Uh, ugly tooth. Do we roll for, I mean, yeah, we're going to hyper roll. Cause again, like we want everything in the shop to be locked. Ideally, this is the, one of the few characters. I mean, really any character that you have fish hook, one of the few play styles or characters where you want your shop to have four locked things and maybe even roll when there's, ooh, roll when there's two or three things locked. It's the rare character in which that might not be stupid. But yeah, I don't know. With Even though we got SMGs, I don't really intend to ever care that much about range damage. Like, I'll take it if it's there, I guess. But I want to mostly scale on percentage damage, attack speed. I don't know, maybe crit. I guess I'll grab the SMG. We're, we're, we're going to roll it here. I think we're, we're still at the spot where we're going to guaranteed one weapon. We can go really stupid with it. Oh, God. I was hoping we would have gotten a, a cursed SMG. There we go. Maybe we can... <laughs> that was lucky. 
though I guess how it depends how it works when we start to combine them. How can we prioritize which one gets upgraded with what, you know? Like, because we can, theoretically, we can convert one of our non-cursed SMGs into a cursed SMG by combining it with one that is cursed. But how do you choose what they combine with? That's not a system that's in Brotato, because it's never been particularly relevant. There's never been a reason to prioritize one SMG being combined with a specific other SMG, really, before. Some tax beat. Okay, well, didn't end up mattering. We'll grab this. God, I don't know, man. I guess we'll just grab the SMG. Uh, do I roll for this? Nah, probably shouldn't have. It's only a 21% chance. I feel like we kind of want to get some luck since we got the really, really good um, bag there. We're doing good damage already, man. Really good damage. I do have to keep in mind that a cursed SMG probably just has better range damage scaling, I guess, right? So maybe it doesn't really matter. I feel like they usually get buffed in a couple ways. Okay. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I see here. I think that we can uh, we can do some good stuff with this. Need some crit as well. I think yeah, getting the two x crit obviously would be a good thing. Or does this wait? Did they change SMG? SMG has 1.5 times critical multiplier. Forgot. It was nerfed in that regard. Nice. All right. So what's the deal? That's an extra 0.1 critical multiplier. Okay, no, I, yeah, I was right. It really, it really, for the most part, only gets range damage scaling. So I don't think I really care. And I also don't think I care about insanity anymore. This is a unique, so I feel like I want to really make sure that... Yeah, I, I think I don't care about getting cursed uh, weapons very much. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I did that. We have three HP regen survive forehead just survive life steal is really really good on an on an smg run of course boom 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 boom, boom. tree thank you tree, thank you oh, walrus is gonna be scary minus 60 percent experience gain so we're just a handful of waves away from never leveling up again if we don't get some experience gained pretty soon. Celery tea? Hell, if we could get two celery teas, I'd take it. Not on the same wave, but I'd take it. We're killing things relatively quickly. I think it'd be okay. And then we deal with the penalty like half as much. That's Lumberjack shirts. Just good. We can take some luck. This stuff is not getting hit. All right, I'm just grabbing that. Sure. I mean, if that gets cursed, it's probably going to be good. Again, I think I just take that. All right, like get, getting a unique item cursed feels great because it's... You can only take one of the item, but if it's cursed, it's kind of... It's kind of like taking two in the best case scenario like when it's super super cursed it's a variable thing i think it's like i think somebody said it's the later in the game you are the higher the value the curse provides which makes sense so that's kind of an interesting thing I, with that i wonder if you leave it in the shop does the value possibly go up as the game goes on i don't know I don't know. There's there's a lot to learn about the curse system, but I'll tell you, even not knowing anything about like the specifics and logistics of behind the scenes, uh, I love it. It's a it's really good idea. It's a really good idea that's very well implemented. I don't need that crap. Items after the next roll will be a higher tier. I mean, yeah. 
Oof. Yeah, I mean, that's worth it. <laughs> that was not really very good. Ooh. Ooh, if Whistle could be upgraded. We, we still don't have a second hook. That would be something that I'd really, really like. The thing is, I really want the cursed uh, weapons in the shop, or cursed items in the shop, because they also give me curse. And curse is damage for us right now. We can look at curse as a one-to-one. -one. It impacts us the same exact way. Well, okay. Not, not quite, because the range damage scaling does go up. It, it impacts us in almost exactly the same way as getting a range damage of an equivalent value, which when you think of it that way, it's really, really, really high. Okay. okay we're doing doing pretty good. I definitely will want to get some uh, some armor. That we got that huge HP boost there too. Since, you know, we're not we're not taking a lot. Obviously we have the cursed enemies. They Whoa. They do a lot of damage. They get a... I think someone said it was a 25% damage boost. I don't know. That is hearsay. Yeah, that's good. Life still is good. Curse whistle. 48% extra chance for loot aliens to appear is very exciting. Um... Sure. What is, a, what is a cursed garden? We'll, we'll try and get some more of these cursed. Like, what is my range damage? Yeah, it's none. So it's, it doesn't matter? Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing that it's going to really do for me, unless I actually start grabbing range damage, the only thing it's going to do for me is give me, give me curse, which it's worth doing. I might as well put both of those there. So I think as we start to combine them, the curse goes up. Like, if I have a cursed common SMG and I eventually scale that into being a cursed legendary SMG just by combining and stuff, I think the curse on it goes up, I presume. Okay, that was definitely frightening. Okay. I mean, we could get crit. It's not like crit's going to be bad for us. I don't know. If there's a cool cursed crit item, I think it'll be worth it. Like, we need the, we need it to be cursed, I think. Like, the value needs to be higher than usual. Banner's not bad. Give me the armor, thank you. None of them got cursed. Nice try, man. Well, okay. That is a indeed a cool cursed crit item that I asked for. All right, an elite, you say? I think this guy this guy has whatever that armor mechanic is that I think is a flat damage reduction. But I gotta tell you, it didn't help him very much, even against the SMG, in which it should have been its like strongest thing. But yeah, now I want crit just because um, hunting trophies busted. Like, hunting trophies good. It's so good. And um, this is just a better hunting trophy. Hunting trophy used to be better. I'm not going to sit here and say that it, it didn't used to be better. It used to be stupid. It used to be a common that had no stack limit. And it was 100% chance. Can you believe that? Hunting trophy used to be... 100% chance to gain a material when you kill an enemy with a crit, and it was a common, and it had no limit. What, dude? It was so broken. It was so broken. It was like, you take it, you get a little bit of crit, and like, you don't have to... I feel like I have to take it, but I just, my range is so bad, and I have no dodge. I have no dodge. I have none. 
Am I going to not take my own hoodie? God, I don't know. <clears throat> Wish it was relevant. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll take the pump. I mean, it has curse on it. There's no reason not to take it. Pick up range, meh. Like I, I guess, like maybe a curse piggy bank will be good. Possibly, we have forty six curse again. We can kind of think of that like forty six range damage, which would be really, really high. I'd like some more crit. If we could get some like, God, if we get cursed tentacle or something. Oh man, oh mama. Oh, mama, oh boy, oh man. Okay. I should not have done that. Okay, focus fire him. That's the only time where life gets scary, is when he releases the bait boys. Range is still in the positive. Range is still in the positive. God. It's frightening. Track down all these curse guys if we can. The uh, the ones that give us curse. Obviously, we'll like that. We like curse. Curse is great for us. It's useless. Okay, didn't get upgraded. I'm I'm not gonna sit around and wait for it to. to... Wow, wow. In a run where that mattered. Wow. What if it gets cursed, you know? Not ever finding another fish hook is um, pretty annoying. I feel like it could be a really, really good benefit to us. We have a one in five chance of cursing something right now. We could really, really bump that up. Could really bump that up if we got another cursed uh, fish hook. Well, if we, if, even if we just got another fish hook. It's 15% by base. Like, that's still a really, really big increase. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, clearly we're going to be... We have to be tagged for it. This character has to be tagged for cursed stuff, right? Just got to check. We officially can't level up. As of this way, we officially can't level up until we get more experience gain. I mean, it seems fine, but that that shuts off the uh, the tap of free curse from leveling up. No, absolutely. Here's the question. Here's the question we have to ask ourselves: Do we wait and have it curse for an extra like six percent? I don't think it makes sense. Good. Just trying to play the old curse game there. So what is the the final upgrade? I don't think it changes. No. I I got the pumpkin like hoping that we would get piercing, like bandana or something. Or if we got um bandana or if we got like a minigun, obviously that would also be good. Goodbye to you. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty good wake-up call, though, for where we're at. For survivability, ow. Uh, some more lifesteal would be good. It's SMGs. Lifesteal is just king. Walruses are so tanky. We gave them a 6% boost, and they say, thank you. I'll subsist for the entire winter off of that sucker. It's a range at... 7% up still, or 7 up still. All things considered, not too shabby. Yeah, if I would have taken my hoodie, we'd be 87 down. It used to not give you the range penalty, and it used to be good, man. I mean, it's still good. 
but it used to be broken. <laughs> it's still good. It's still really good. But I, it sucks because I need to have dodge for it to be good. Um... I don't really care. Do I care about this? Three armor? Sure. Harpoon gun, SMG, tentacle. I mean, I'm not finding any freaking crit, <laughs> but like that has crit on it. I would take it. Evidenced by the fact that I already have. So 14 HP, two armor, super good. Also, all the materials just get auto-absorbed. Is that exciting? Eh. But three armor is three armor. That, honestly, that's just, like, it's a it's a great item for three armor. Now, after the, the buffs. Like, it's, it's worth taking for, for that. But there are some situations, some characters, where you don't want to take materials. I don't know. It's a 50-50 on, like, luck damage runs if I want. I don't know. Sometimes I don't really want my materials to be auto-picked up. And that's the runs where people think that it's, like, the number one best thing. The number the runs where it's the number one best thing are Soldier and, um... It's Soldier and Streamer. Those are the runs where it's undeniably busted. To an extent, I would say maybe for, like, Engineer as well. Lucky, lucky it's, like, it's good, but it does have a downside. And to deny that it has a downside is a little silly. Uh, we upgrade that. That works perfectly. Not that, again, it matters. I've not, I've not taken, like, any. I just realized this would tank my crit even more. Yee yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, God. It's at, at, the, at the cost of range is annoying, but... One of those suckers better be cursed. Uh, we have a 21. We have a 30. It's 36 because this one's not cursed. 36% chance. Statistically, we should have at least one. Odds are at least one gets cursed. But hey, maybe, man, maybe. Could get lucky. Look, I don't really want the range down on the, uh, the, the blindfold, obviously. But I got two really good crit items now, and I would like to take advantage of them. This is still giving us 162 materials. That's nuts. Whoop. Okay, these guys are feeling pretty tanky. The fact that we're subsisting, like our damage is completely subsisting off of all of the curse we're getting is so great. Like, look at that. We just got a whole bunch of, like, damage up from killing those guys. We just want to hunt them down. They're giving us extra curse. What are we at? 87 curse. Lifesteal. Super good. Small fish. I'm just going to say no. Three knockback. What do we have for knockback? Minus eight. There's no points. Ah. Curse it for me, man. Uh, I don't even care about wheat anymore. Okay, I want that thing cursed. I mean, if if it doesn't get cursed after this, after this wave, I'm just gonna buy it and get the one piercing. But like, if it gets cursed, what what could it possibly do, except for turn into you pierce through two enemies? What could it possibly be except for that? It would have to add some entirely separate effect. Like, like it'd have to give a range damage upgrade or something, I guess. My range is terrible. I mean, maybe you could give a range up. That'd be nice. If you have projectiles, you're going to care about range. Just avoid the blobfish at this point. Oh, well. He said, what was that? He just jumped on me. Does he, does the blob, a cursed blobfish summon one of the cursed giver enemies? Or does he always? Hmm. Oh, 
uh, it just doesn't matter. What happens if this gets cursed? What happens if it gets cursed? Oh no, he's hot! Crap. Oh no, he was hot! We would love some crits. Giant spell would be fun. Got a curse giant spell would be extra, extra fun. Read all about it. 15% lifesteal. Like, this is silly. Who needs to be anything other than level 10? At this rate, man. Okay. Would have been nice to get a... If we could just have gotten a second fish hook early, this run would be even stupider. Okay. I do wonder what we're at for range too. There's a lot of stat checking that I feel like I have to do on this run to like keep things in in check. Burning deals additional. I'm, well, I don't know. I'll just take the seventy-four bucks. position with that every range weapons third projectile has three extra projectiles <laughs> that's what i want that's silly that is dang silly it's pre-cursed too sir that's an 8%. Every item has an 8% chance to get cursed. So we got really lucky the fact that it's a legendary that got it there. Just as easily could have been Giant's Belt if we want to look that gift horse straight in the mouth. All right. Okay. I mean, we're doing fine. Like, we have fallen off in terms of um, damage, which makes sense. Like, I haven't been getting a lot of percentage damage upgrades or anything like that, which has not really been by design. Like, it's not that I'm avoiding them. There's just so many freaking items in the game now. It's hard to get what you want sometimes. Uh, do I care about spices? You know what? Let's go wild. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> All right, there it is. Two, yeah, two percent damage is not. Whoa! Look at all those numbers. I can't see his health bar. It's gone. That's why I can't see it. Okay. I like this guy. Barnacle. Oh, Barnacle. 25% extra stats gained from level upgrades and a curse when you level up. Ah, oh, God. You know what? I just don't like that it's an epic. I don't know. I wish it was 20% stats and one curse when you level up on a blue. You know? Or like, or even, even 15, but it's on a blue. Because how often are you going to find this? Here's okay. Well, here's a here's a way to look at it that's kind of nice. Is on runs where you're really taking advantage of level ups, you're also likely st like stacking luck, or it's pretty good to stack luck on a run like that. So you are more likely to find it early. But that's kind of my issue with some of these. There's a, a, a surprising amount of legendary items that are scaling items. You know, grinds magical leaf, anvil, like or or. Items that are really only logical if you build around them early as well, I think, also fall into that. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'd have to look look through all of the items, but which I guess I, there's not a way to do. But, you know, like items that make a lot of sense to get early and are like really run defining and like change how you would want to start playing um, are like epics and legendaries, which is kind of interesting. Like Strange Book, that's one to think about, like an epic. 
where it's like your male or your um, elemental and your uh, engineering scaling are kind of shared. That's something that you're not going to be doing on a normal run, really, unless you're playing the perfect character until it shows up. And then you're like, oh, well, I guess now I'll do that. Um, items like that, I wish I wish they were a little bit weaker, but made a blue tier personally, because then, you know, you sh it shows up earlier. Like, all right, I'm going to lean into that. I think it could. Yeah, could it be problematic. Maybe. But uh, I really like the barnacle. That's why I'm mentioning this is because, like, I want to take that every run I see it because I like Curse. I think Curse is great. I think Curse is really, really good. Um, I think, is it, does it make the game harder to be high cursed? Y yeah, kind of, right? Like, if you think about it just as the extra money you get from killing cursed enemies, it's not, it's not worth it. If you think about the cursed items that you sometimes get, it's really worth it. But um, good God, I love uh, I love fish hook. It's goaded item, favorite item in the game. Uh, alas, alas, though that is that. That's gonna do it here for today for Brotato. I went ahead and I unlocked the chef uh, before I recorded this video. I just you needed to have thirty enemies on fire. I just went in on danger level zero with I think like the loud. I stacked tank items and tanked my percentage damage, and that's what I did with with like torch or something like that. I think is what it was. So that that's how I unlocked that. If you were curious, if you want to unlock the chef, that's that's how I did it. I think that there's probably easier ways. But yeah, I just went in danger zero with the loud. Only grabbed armor, health, regen, like things to stay alive. And intentionally tanked my elemental damage and uh, percentage damage. So that my fire would be less likely to kill things. Uh, that's how I did that. So that you just... And then as soon as I got the 30 enemies on fire at the same time, I just quit the run. So that's that's what you missed. Uh, so Chef tomorrow, last, last, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Share the Chef for Roblox, Morbus, Clay, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.